I'm coming. Coming. Don't worry. Don't worry. See, I'm here. Oh, I left my tuner on. Let me shut that off. Hi, it's two of you again. How are you? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Sorry about the way this is, which isn't terribly professional, but uh, Beth and the kids are off in downtown Manhattan doing God knows what. Um, this is a very special guitar. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm wearing my Epiphone hat. Bad hat. Wrong hat. Wrong hat. What should I wear? Wait a second. Brooklyn. That's better. Okay. Uh, I discovered a couple of years ago that uh, PV, remember them? Between 94 and 95, I think, so for a two-year period, a one-year period, contracted with uh, a uh, Finnish guitar maker named Landola. Landola started in 1942. They're out of business now, by the way. And PV brought in, for that period of time, uh, guitars under the, uh, the PV name. Uh, they eventually canceled it, left Landola with a whole bunch of guitars, and I think, for all intents and purposes, killed the company. There's some Landolas floating around Europe. I haven't seen any in the United States, but the PV Landolas you can find once in a blue moon. I'm putting up for sale the PV Landola SP11, obviously made around 94, 95. It's a, let me get it, it's an alpine spruce top, relatively tight a graining. Yeah, if you can see that, relatively tight graining. Uh, there's a nick someplace. Do you see that? I did that. Mahogany, back and sides. Is that gorgeous or what? Mahogany neck. Uh, these are shower tuners. They say made in Germany. There's a PV name on the top, which uh, is the way it goes. There's the action. This is a magnificent guitar. I don't know if you can see how gorgeous that wood is, how tight the grain is. And they had some kind of special thing they used to do with the wood they said to make it sound better. I don't know. Why can I even part with this one? Uh, I'll tell you what. And then we'll get down to business. All right, bear with me. I can part with it because I have this. Which is a PV Landola. Only I got rid of the PV name. I did. I did that. Uh, this one's at, I mean, I love this one. This one. If you ever see this one for sale, you know I'm dead. Uh, cedar top, mahogany back and sides. Mwah, I love it. This is not for sale. Put that over there. But this is, and this is magnificent. On that one, I got wider weight strings than I have on this. The sound is incredible. The action is incredible. This is a magnificent guitar. If you do some research, you'll see the least these go for is around 450, 500 bucks. And they're not that many around. I know of one that sold, I think, in February of last year, like a year ago, for 450 bucks. This guitar, I mean this model. So I'll play it a little bit. It's a great neck. I mean, for me. As I said before, I had an uncle who lived in Great Neck. Which was near um, Manhattan. I had this girlfriend in Manhattan. Strum. Very powerful. Maybe I'll send you a set of strings. What the hell, I'll send you a set of strings. This is a magnificent guitar. Um, it pains me to sell it, but because I have this baby over here, I can justify it, I think. As I said, I need to raise money. There's no way around it. So this one's not going to go real cheap. I'm going to put a relatively high starting price on it. If it doesn't sell, it won't be the end of the world for me because I'll have it. Uh, oh, it's got a satin finish. It's gorgeous. Oh, beautiful guitar. I hope you win it. And if you win it, you got to take care of it. This is, this is a classic. This is a magnificent piece of work. It really, really is. I'll put this back over here. And thank you for dropping in. It was an absolute pleasure. Next time you're in the neighborhood, as I usually say, don't be a stranger. Uh, what else? There's nothing else. That's it. Period. Best of luck with the guitar. I hope you win it. And if you win it, you will have a really exquisite example of a late lamented maker that made beautiful, beautiful guitars up in the north. 
uh, in Europe, uh, where Goya guitars came from, also gone, gone. All right, but enough about me. Thanks a lot. Take care. Goodbye. So long. I got to shut this off myself. There's my stomach. Look, it's my stomach.